How's it going everybody? And welcome back to the Shannon's Garage Australia YouTube channel. Alrighty, so on today's episode, I am back to work on the E38. I am going to start pulling out that motor to make way for the new one. But first, um, I sold a set of wheels to a, a top bloke in, in Melbourne. These ones here, set of stern face twos. I have to get the tyres off those and get them ready for transport as the courier company will be here tomorrow sometime to pick them up. So I'm gonna get stuck into those first and then it's time to get that old engine out of there and get the new one in. So there you have it, all four wheels are now done. It's now time to get started on this E38 again. Woo -wee. It's gonna be a big day today. But hopefully by the end of this video, fingers crossed, I'll have the engine out of here and sitting beside that one so I can change over any parts that I need to put on that to put back in the car. So let me get, uh, yeah, let me get going, jack this thing up, get underneath it, start undoing some stuff. Okay, so as you can see here, I've already taken the bottom lower sump pan off and you can see by the chunks of metal that are just in the bottom pan, this thing has had a catastrophic failure. Um, I'll try and show you this. There is the hole in the upper sump pan. Um, yeah. I would say that's either a rod or a piston's gone through there, but you know, we'll get this thing out and inspect it and see if it's actually savable. I'd actually like to save the V8 and maybe put it in the E36 wide body. So yeah, catastrophic. Okay, so here we are up underneath the motor. Um, I've got it low because I've got the, the bonnet lifted up on a 90, so that way I can get the motor out easily without taking the bonnet off. But um first things first we'll have to get the radiator out so i'll have to undo all of this stuff here um then we've got to come back and inside here you can see the bolt there that's your torque converter bolts so i am going to have to take the torque converter out um headers have got to come undone so the exhaust has got to drop down um looking back just quietly, I noticed these, but these are brand spanking new high flow catalytic converters. Would not have been cheap, I tell you. Would not have been cheap. They're expensive as. Um, but anyway, let's start undoing all the bolts and yeah, let's let's get into this thing. It's gonna be a big job.
Well, that took quite a few hours to get done. Three hours later. But let me turn the camera around and I'll show you. I'm pretty sure now I have everything undone at the top, radiators out, and then we um, need to get underneath and start disassembling the stuff under there. So yeah, let me turn the camera around and give you a look at what I've done. Okay, first things first, you'll notice that the radiator is gone. The clutch fan blade is gone. All the belts are also gone. Um, I do still have to move the air con compressor out. So I've got to undo that and move it and tuck it away to the side somewhere. Um, brake breather line is done. Fuel lines are done. Heater core plumbing is done. The ECU is done. All the wiring loom is now attached to the top of the motor. So that'll make it nice and easy to get out. The oil filter reservoir is also disconnected. So that is that. Now it's time to get up and underneath the engine and start disassembling under there. I'm gonna stop work there guys um, I will pick it up again tomorrow we did get a hell of a lot done so everything on the top side of the car is now completely disassembled all the connections everything's done the wiring loom blah 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 um, I do also have the power steering pump disconnected and all the lines done AC compressor above my head is now disconnected and just hanging out of the way so really all I've got left to do tomorrow is get in undo this gearbox and then I can pull the motor out um, sorry I've got to end it now, but the kids are on their way home and I have to get all cleaned up and start making dinner. So, yay for me. I'd love to get this thing done today, but, you know, time constraints. So, guys, stay cool until tomorrow. I'll see you all then. Three days later. Okay, well, it is a couple of days later, but I am back to work in the workshop. Um, but first, I've got to head out. I'm going to buy some uh, new tyres to put on those beautiful Brayton 20s that I've bought for the 740. Um, as you can see behind me, the last couple of days have been rather interesting. So we've had the builders out and the roofers out again. Uh, this time they've erected all the, as you can see, the scaffolding. So the works on the shop uh, and the house will start within the next few days. Um, now that's gonna carry on for a couple of weeks. So unfortunately guys, um, at the end of this episode, I will be taking a, a short little break for a few weeks while the roofers and all that are here because it's just gonna make it impossible to work. Um, all my cars have got to come out from the workshop. I've already moved a few of them around here. So that way they're out of there and, and not in the way of the roofers while they're working and the builders. Um, so yeah, look, let me head off. I'm going to go get some new tyres. I'm going 28530s on the rear of the 740 and 25535s on the fronts. So big wheel and tyre. It's going to be, it's going to look amazing. It really, really is. Um, also too, if these guys actually get back to me, um, mod, mod, mode, auto concepts. Um, I'm buying a set of, uh, e -bark springs for the 740 as well so hopefully i can get those today I, I do plan on getting the wheels and tires done and hopefully if i can get the springs getting the springs done on on the rest of this episode um, i won't be able to finish the work on the motor because the 740 does have to come out this afternoon and be put somewhere in the yard until the roofers and the builders are done so like i said i won't be able to get much work done over the next few weeks but you know I'm sure I'll find things to keep me busy. All right, let's load up into the Mighty Patrol and let's head off. All right, so here we are at Bow Repairs at Ashmore, or soon to be known as Goodyear Auto Care. 
Um, I just picked up these tires, and as you can see behind me, they are huge. Well, not really. 285s, still big enough. Uh, I think the biggest tire I've ever run on a car is a 265. So, yeah, these are pretty decent. These are pretty decent. So, I am going to head home now uh, and get these tires all mounted onto those wheels, and I'm going to put them on the car. Now, some bad news. Um, yeah, I won't be able to pick the springs up today, so I won't be able to get that done um, in time to, to drag the cars out and of the workshop before the roofers start their job. So, unfortunately, it's just going to be a tire and wheel day, and then I'll end the video once I've got them on and give you a, a good look at it before I put it back on the car trailer and move it around my yard so that way the roofers can get in and do their job. But look at those things. They are pretty. All right, let's keep going. All righty, so back here at the workshop now. Just pulled up. I'm going to get these tyres fitted onto those beautiful Brayton Germany wheels. And then I'm going to put them on the car, and we'll see how they look. Um, I've got to move a fair few cars around at the moment and get the workshop empty so the roofers and the builders can do, get their job done. And, yeah. It's going to be a bit sad for a couple of weeks, not being able to do a hell of a lot, but, you know, at the end of the day, I do need to get this workshop up and running properly and, and have everything done. So let me turn the camera around and show you these huge bloody tyres. Look how wide that is. That is a 285.30 and a 255.35. Front and rears. Damn, that's going to look good. Well, there you have it. Tires are now on. Now it's time to get them on the car and see what these wheels really look like on this thing. God, I'm excited. I hope they look as good as what I think they're going to. All right, guys. Well, that's going to end today's episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, the 740 just looks absolutely amazing on those 20s. Uh, just wait for the lower suspension to go in. Those wheels will look even nicer. Um, there is a little bit too much tuck for what I really wanted the wheels to be, but, you know, once it's lowered, I don't think it's going to matter too much. Um, now, I will be absent for the next week or two, uh, and that's just because, as I said to you guys before, the builders and the roofers are all out here now, so it's just going to be too noisy to, to get any work done and, and recording and all that kind of stuff. I will try and do some small stuff, um, there is a little bit of stuff that needs doing on the black E39 before I can get rid of it. Um, so I will try and get, you know, somewhat of a video out, you know, next week, week after. Um, but remember, guys, like, comment and subscribe to my channel if this is something you want to continue seeing. Now, I have noticed that 70% of all my viewers are not subscribed. So, guys, please subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Get on to it. Um, you know, this is what I do full time now. So... Subscribe guys get into the channel help support me. I will have some merch dropping in the next month or two um, Shannon's garage Australia shirts and caps so stay tuned for that But check me out on Instagram at Shannon's garage Australia for all the updates on the merch stuff um, But look I will get to the motor once these guys have gone other than that guys like comment subscribe stay tuned for more content and remember stay cool